the LG V20 is here and today I'm doing a video about Sprint so I'm on prepaid finance.com here and it says that Sprint expands present across Walmart stores so this is really cool I didn't know that Sprint was doing this I didn't know Sprint had a partnership with Walmart but if you guys want to get Sprint cell phone service you all guys can go to Walmart and get Sprint cell phone service if you guys are interested so this is really cool um, like I said, I didn't know that uh, they were doing this, so that's really cool. This is my first time hearing about it. So this article got published over a week ago. So, um, yeah, so let's check this out. So it says here, Sprint has just expanded into a number of Walmart locations. Prior to today's observation, Sprint was only available in about in around 40% of retail stores in the US. This was equivalent to around 1400 out of the 3568 locations throughout the country. And they're talking about all uh, retail stores, I guess, or warmer in general. The presence of Sprint inside Walmart stores was first noticed by Web7 Research. This is the Wireless carriers attempt to increase its personal and yeah, says this is the wireless carriers attempt to increase its personnel and price paid wireless products in the store. So, um, if you guys want to get post paid service with Sprint, y'all guys can go to Walmart and do so. Uh, you can get prepaid service with Sprint through Walmart. You have to go do Sprint or whatever, get prepaid service. But who the fuck wants to get Sprint prepaid when you can get a boosting its cell phone service. Their goal is to offer their products across all Walmart locations and have those stores manned by third party cell experts and their own wireless employees before 2019 ends, which is a few which is a couple of days from now. With this expansion in Walmart Sprint could offer the retail losses it incurred when it separated from Target stores earlier this year. So yeah, that's pretty um cool there. So uh, it looks like Sprint some of y'all selling it um based on cell phone service at Walmart. If you guys are interested in that, check it out. Um, it says that and since 2019 it's coming to a close. Sprint's expansion to Walmart stores could very could very much continue in 2020. I'm sure it will be if it is if Sprint has a successful uh, has a has a successful um you know it's if Sprint is successful with Walmart partnership then I then I expect this to continue into 2020. So we'll see. Now that Sprint has expanded to Walmart stores, it could continue its affordable choice program that it launched in 2018. If you guys don't know what that is, I don't know what that is, but I'm going to tell you guys what it is. So the affordable choice program was created especially for customers who had poor or who had poor to no credit. So if you guys had bad credit, y'all guys could get a uh, cell phone service to Sprint. On their post page, if you guys had bad credit, y'all y'all guys could get cell phone service with their um with their affordable choice program, which allowed customers who had bad credit or no credit at all to get cell phone service with Sprint, which is uh, cool, I guess. But if you guys have bad credit, you guys should not be getting cell phone service. Y'all guys, y'all guys, if you guys have bad credit, y'all guys should not be getting postpaid cell phone service anywhere, because if you get a postpaid, uh, if you try to get a postpaid cell phone, I mean, like, like a, if you try to get cell phone service on a postpaid carry, on a postpaid account, uh, most of the times they will check your credit, and you have to have good credit to get postpaid services. Um, if you have bad credit, uh, most of the time they will deny you. They will not allow you to get postpaid service with them but with this affordable choice program that is an option but I don't recommend you guys doing that because that, that just looks bad on your part and you can't pay then you just fuck yourself even more so have good credit if you guys wanna if, if you guys wanna get 
postpaid cell phone service which is you know it's up to you go ahead and go for it but make sure you guys have good credit and make sure you guys you know pay your bill on time and all that good stuff and pay down your phone and stuff like that uh, it says it also gave those customers a chance to rebuild their credit background if you guys have bad credit you ask it though rebuild your credit and restore your credit and stuff like that which is which is good if you guys have bad credit and stuff like that the program comes with a 99% approval rate even for those who have never had Sprint service in the past. So this affordable choice program that Sprint has, it has a 99% approval rating which is really good but I don't know how, I, I never tried this so I don't, I don't never tried the program so I don't know how good it is. If you guys have uh, tried the affordable choice program with Sprint, let me know your guys experience with that. So with that uh, affordable program, y'all guys get self and self and sprint if you guys have bad credit or no credit at all. Cause like I said, most of the time y'all, most of the time y'all guys try to get, most of the time if you guys try to get a postpaid cell phone, if you guys try to get a postpaid service with like Sprint, AT and T, Verizon, and T-Mobile, they will, uh, they will check your credit. Most of the time they do that. Most of the time they do. And uh, most of the time you have bad credit, they will deny you uh, cell phone service on postpaid because you have bad credit. But with this affordable choice program of Sprint, you can get uh, cell phone service with Sprint if you guys have bad credit. Which, uh, uh, um, y'all y'all guys can get bad credit from anything. Y'all guys can get bad credit from you know bad credit um you know credit card debt uh, if you guys are in debt that, that could ruin your credit and stuff like that so y'all so you guys can have bad credit it, you can have bad credit on anything uh if you uh like don't pay your phone bill uh that goes against your credit and stuff like that and and whatnot and, and all that shit so you can have bad credit from a lot of different things uh, it says if you qualify for Sprint's affordable choice program, you will be able to buy a phone with a down payment of forty dollars. You can then pair this with Sprint's unlimited basic or affordable choice plan. Oh wow, I didn't know that they had the affordable choice plan. That's pretty uh so if you guys do qualify for this, uh you can make a down payment of forty dollars. Um you can uh, use the thing with Sprint's Unlimited Basic Plan or Affordable Choice Plan from Sprint. I didn't know that they had that plan. Didn't know they had it. To know more about these plans, look for a Walmart store with a Sprint Sales Expert available. So if you guys go to Sprint's website, it will not tell you. It will not tell you guys about the Affordable Choice Plan. But if you guys want to know more about Sprint's Unlimited Basic Plan, Sprint website will have you covered with that but the affordable choice plan from Sprint you will have to go to Walmart and look for a and look and look for a Sprint sales representative to learn more about the affordable choice about the affordable choice plan so this is really cool that Sprint is expanding its presence to Walmart stores um this is really cool I didn't know that they, I did not know that they were doing this um, it's really cool. I think you know it'll get spent another way to potentially get customers in the door. People do not have to go to Sprint stores to get service. They can go to Walmart and get Sprint postpaid services if they're interested. Um, they've been doing this for a while, I guess. So um, it's really cool. Um, so maybe by the end of next year, we'll ha maybe by the end of next year they'll have like every Walmart store. <laughs> In the U.S., we'll have Sprint. We'll, we'll have maybe by the end of 2020, you guys may will may might be able to get Sprint service at, um through all Walmart stores. But in the next year, we'll have to wait and see how this does for Sprint. Um, like I said, this could be a good thing for Sprint. Like I said, because they'll give another way, it will give them another way to get people to sign up for services. They get a, you know, people go to Walmart all the time, so. You know, well, what a great way to try to get people interested in your services. So. And, uh, yeah. 
and the thing that really gets me interested is this affordable choice program that Sprint has. They launched it all. Uh, they launched it in 2018, so they launched it all uh, last year. Also, uh, what that means is if you guys have bad credit or no credit at all, y'all guys will be able to get Sprint postpaid services. Now, um, if you guys have bad credit, best of time if you guys try to get a postpaid account line. Oh, they will most of the time, most of the time will check your credit. And if you guys have bad credit, they will they will deny you cell phone service with that carrier on postpaid. Because if you, if you guys have bad credit, y'all you guys should not, y'all guys, y'all guys should not be trying to get fucking cell phone service and all that on postpaid, but prepaid cell phone service they don't check your credit, so you can do that route. But Spence Affordable Choice Program will help you with that and, and what you guys are doing that it will also help you rebuild your credit as well so that's really good so it will help you so if you qualify for the Sprint Affordable Choice Program uh, you'll get what you want and you'll get what you need uh, you'll get a phone what you want you'll get a phone that you want um, you know that's what you want is the phone and what you need is you'll need to rebuild your credit and it'll, it'll help you guys do that so that's a good thing so you guys don't want to have bad credit because if you guys have bad credit you can't you guys can't get nothing in your name you, you, you're kind of fucked and shit in a lot of ways you guys can't get a car you guys you know if you guys have bad credit you're fucked so you know uh, if you guys you know you know uh if you guys want to get postpaid services, um, like I said, have good credit so you can get the service you want and get the phone you want and stuff like that. If you guys have bad credit, like I said, most of the time they'll check your credit and they will deny you. If you have if you have bad credit, they will deny you. So, um, but this affordable program will help you get the phone you want, but also will help you rebuild your credit. So that's a win. Um, if you qualify for a Sprint uh, affordable choice program, it does not matter if you have no credit or bad credit at all. They will let you get self service with them. So that's really cool, I guess. But, you know, just keep that in mind. It makes it that you guys pay your phone on time and pay off your phone and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, this is really cool that Sprint is expanding its presence to more Walmart stores across the country. Um, I didn't know, didn't know that they was doing this, but it's really cool. Um, it could help Sprint get more customers because, you know, people go to Walmart all the time. And, you know, people be, people buy friends and shit from Walmart. So, uh, they see a Sprint sales representative, representative. They could be interested in Sprint. So, check them out. Check your Walmart to see if they have a Sprint uh, representative near you. Um, get on. Uh, actually, this guys get to your local Walmart store and see if they have a Sprint rep that, uh, if they, I said this guys get to it. I said this guys get to your local Walmart and see if they have a Sprint rep there. So if they do, you, you could sign for Sprint services there. But not all Walmarts have this yet, uh, but they're hoping to expand them more in 2020 if this goes well for Sprint. So, yeah, yeah. so what do you guys think about Sprint expanding this presence? across the Walmart stores in the US um have you guys have you guys got cell phone service have you guys got um postpaid cell phone service from a store like Walmart Best Buy etc etc um I would like to know that as well also if you guys have um tried if you guys have uh tried Sprint's affordable choice program I would like to know you guys uh experience with that as well so uh, that's pretty much it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. You guys, it really helps me out a lot. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching my video, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.